Hey guys, what's going on? It's your morning teenage commentator, Silence Kill or Christian here, and I keep forgetting to say Christian rather than Silence Kill until I'm like actually doing it. Sorry about that. But it's been a week since I made a video, and I'm sorry about that. I actually had family in town, so there was no time to make a video, and like I said, I really apologize for that, and uh, yeah. So anyway, the subs have been amazing. You guys have been subscribing like crazy. We're at like 11 or 12K or something right now. It's just crazy, and your support is awesome. And you know what? If everyone that watched this video maybe told a friend about my channel, you know, just imagine how many hits my channel would get. So maybe tell a friend or something. I don't know. Up to you. Whatever you want to do. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, today's goal for likes is 300. If we get that, that's awesome and I'm happy. If we don't, that's awesome and I'm still happy. So let's get into the first one. This is the most relatable, by the way, if you couldn't tell by the title. When someone stops talking to you and you're not sure what you did wrong, this chair is just freaking amazing. So, you know, you, we always get those situations where, like, you have a friend and you said something or, like, like rubbed your nose the wrong way or itched your crotch in the middle of a situation and they're just and they just stop talking to you and you're just like you're like what what did I do I'm sorry I guess I mean maybe I won't ever scratch my crotch again and then you're just kind of like this chair like I mean look at that chair my goodness that one person who whenever they come online you just I smell friend <laughs> so I have this one friend his name's Will and whenever this kid gets online I'm just like is that a is that a friend? I mean, ah, you know, I just get I get happy and I'm excited because I have someone to play Minecraft with and I'm not stuck doing my homework and playing WGT baseball on Facebook by myself. I have a friend. So, uh, yeah, and I just kind of wait for that Skype notification to come up and it's just it's awesome when it does. I'm just I'm all of a sudden happy. When your teacher puts their hand on your shoulder, <laughs> the picture explains it all. This is me all the time. Like, seriously, I hate when teachers touch me. And when I was in 8th grade, there was this one substitute teacher, and he would always put his hand on the back of my neck and just, like, rub my neck, like, good job. And he would call me, like, a gentleman and a scholar. And at the time, I didn't even know what that meant. And I just found out what it meant because I Googled it. But... Yeah, so I was kind of scared because he'd always put his hand on my shoulder and I was just like, don't do that, you know, so uh, yeah. Trying to talk to me when I've got earphones in, don't try it. Like, I always have earphones in. When I'm at my computer, when I'm at school, whenever I get a chance, there are earphones on my head or headphones. And people come over and they're like, hey, Christian, what are you doing? And they're just like having an entire conversation with me. And I'm just sitting here with my headphones on or like maybe my mom's like yelling at me or something. And I'm just like, no, don't even try it. I obviously have headphones in. I'm not going to respond to you if I have headphones in. Just just know that if you ever meet me in real life, which if you do, you better say something like you know me or whatever. But don't try to talk to me when I have earbuds in. Okay? Just saying. When the teacher asks you a question because she thinks you weren't listening but you get it right, this gif is just my entire life in one gif. Just saying. Uh, yeah. So I'm always that kid who's like down on his phone playing Clash of Clans or like Need for Speed or something. And the teacher will be like, hey, Christian. What's the answer to number 69? And I'm just like, well, the answer is precisely 2 pi 3 7 cosine of 4. Like, yeah. And then he's just like, what? Like, because I'll, I'll, I'll be on my phone the entire hour. But I'm actually listening. I'm actually, like, pulling stuff from what the teacher is saying. And then the teacher's just like, I'm angry. Because, you know, the point of calling on me is to make sure they know that I don't know it. But I knew it, so we're good. When you find out one of your best friends has been talking shit about you. So, I'll have, like, one of my friends will just, like, be talking to another best friend or something. And they'll be like, yeah, Christian did this one stupid thing. And then I'm just like, what? You asshole. And then I confront him about it. I'm like, you asshole. And so, yeah, that's pretty much what happens each and every time someone talks crap about me. Getting attached to people but not wanting to be that clingy friend, that is me, like, all the time. So I have a few high school friends, and, like, you become really good friends with these people, but you're always asking to hang out and stuff, and it's like, am I am I being clingy or not? Like, I don't know if I should stop or, or what? Because, you know, you don't want to be that clingy friend. No one wants to be the clingy friend. Let's just put it out there. And then there's people who don't understand what the clingy friend is and just, like, do it automatically, and it's just like you're clingy. So stop. 
when you correct the teacher. You know, I don't know what this GIF is, but it is amazing, and I love it, and I will never get over this GIF. But I have this one teacher who isn't exactly the smartest or sharpest knife in the drawer, and I've corrected him on multiple, multiple occasions, and he just sits there, and he tries to give me an explanation, and all my friends are just like, Damn, you're good. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Actually, none of my friends do that. But they're thinking that. I know they are. <laughs> it's just an awesome time when you correct the teacher. Everyone knows that. Why didn't you do your homework on the holidays? We were on a break. Like, honestly, every single teacher finds the need to give me an assignment on, like, Thanksgiving break or Christmas break. I swear to God, there is t a teacher that will give me an assignment on summer break and expect me to bring it back next year. Like, no. No, no, nobody, nope. If you give me an assignment on break, I'm not going to do it. So, just, just saying. When someone accidentally spills your favorite, uh, someone accidentally spoils your favorite t t TV show and then tries to apologize. Well, sorry doesn't sweeten my tea. <laughs> so, I got really into the Breaking Bad. And about, like, 50 different people decided to ruin this series for me. And by the time I get to the sixth episode of like the last season, I'd already known what happened because you know what? Everyone decided to spoil it for me. So yeah, I hate people that do that. And if you do that, just don't talk to me. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for today's most relatable. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Like I said, 300 likes is the goal. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and uh, tell a friend about my channel. All this will be said in the outro though. So let's get to the outro. Peace guys. Yeah.